안녕하세요 여러분. Welcome back to the channel. 이미 아시겠지만 저는 호주에서 마이클인데요. Christian Reaction 오시는 걸 환영합니다. So today's video is going to be about hearing the voice of God. And especially if you're a Christian watching today, how important it is to hear God's voice, how awesome it is, but also how normal it is. So let me start today's video by giving you the first point about hearing God's voice. And it's a very, very important one, probably the most important to understand. You were made to hear the voice of God. You were made for close, intimate relationship with God, and that includes communication both ways. So obviously, if you're a Christian, you probably already pray. You pray to God, but you may not actually expect to hear back. So to understand this point, we have to go back to the very beginning of the Bible, to Genesis. And there we find the picture of God walking in the garden with Adam and Eve. And there is nothing, no limitations between their relationship. There's nothing blocking it until Unfortunately, Adam and Eve choose to disobey God's command and they're expelled from the garden. However, as a Christian, because of what Jesus has done on the cross and he's wiped away all of our sins, we're completely forgiven. And now we are in a position where we are back in this close, intimate relationship with God, which includes communication. So just as Adam and Eve were right there with God, praying to him, hearing his voice, being present with him, so to us today as Christians, this is the kind of life that we can expect. The second point in hearing the voice of God is this, God responds when we ask and listen. So in John chapter 10, this is verse 27, Jesus says these words to his disciples. He says, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. As you grow in your relationship with Jesus, you will learn to hear his voice and distinguish it from everything else. This is what Jesus is promising in this passage is that yeah, of course, there's going to be a lot of voices going around. There's your own voice. There's the enemy's voice. There's your family's voice. There's your friend's voice. There's your boss's voice. But there's also Jesus' voice. If you are a Christian, you have been made in good relationship with God, which means there is nothing, potentially nothing, holding you back from hearing God's voice. Maybe what's holding us back is that we're distracted by all of these other voices. But Jesus' promises remain true. And that is, if you ask and if you listen, then God will speak. Another really similar promise in the Bible is found in James chapter 4, where he says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And again, in Jeremiah 29 verse 12, it says, in these days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. There's another promise in the Bible about genuinely wanting God, seeking God, listening for God, and then God responding to that desire. Number three is a really important point in terms of discerning God's voice. And that is to understand that God will never say anything that contradicts what he has already said or that contradicts his character and his nature. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it has a really, really important verse about describing the Bible. It says this, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God, that's us, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. As we grow in our walk with God, we can learn and discern what God's character really is by reading the Bible and be genuinely immersed in the Bible. By prayer, by being planted in a community of Christians that are also seeking God and love God, really genuinely experiencing God in your every day to day life. Out of all of this, we learn to know God a bit better than we did the day before. But really importantly, when it comes to hearing God's voice, just know that there are other voices that go on in our heads sometimes. It's not just God. Not every voice that you hear is God's, which is why it's important to really know God and know his word and know his character and his nature. So that when you hear these voices, you'll be able to discern whether that is God or it's not God. So hearing God's voice can come in many different shapes and forms. Maybe it's actually hearing a, an audible voice of God. But often it's not. Often it's just an impression. Often it's a feeling or just a guidance and direction or just an encouraging word or a, a peace or something. God will speak to you in whatever language you can understand. It's unique to you. If you genuinely desire to hear the voice of God, that God will speak to you in whatever way he knows that you will understand. So why don't you pray to God today and just ask him really simply, God, I know that you love me and I know that you want to speak to me and I want to hear your voice. So please help me to discern your voice. Help me to hear your voice. And I want to live in a closer, more intimate relationship with you. And I bet you 100% God will answer that prayer. 
오케이 친구들 감사합니다 영상 재밌게 봤으면 좋겠어요 만약에 뭐 하느님의 목소리 듣기이나 그냥 뭐 기독교 예수님에 대한 질문 있으시면 당연히 언제든지 댓글로 물어보시면 됩니다 오케이 파이팅 여러분 파이팅 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 바이바이